Hello, everybody. This is Inside My Planners for the week of, let's see here, um, October 5th through 11th. I have the new, well, uh, new to me, Passion Planner in the compact size, and you can see it's pretty small. I'm giving it a shot for a while. I really did enjoy my Passion Planner from before, and I thought maybe this new compact size would make it easy in case I need to throw it into my purse. So, let's see. First of all, I haven't shown October yet. October is just an overview, and for um, the Passion Planner, they have a priority list down here, so I filled that in. And your this month's focus is fitness and scheduling. I want to make sure I keep regular um, hours for my business, so that's kind of hard for me to do, so that's something I'm focusing on. I wrote a few days in here that I thought were interesting. Do something nice day is today, so do something nice today. Uh, Columbus Day, of course, I have some doctor's appointments. The 21st is Pumpkin Cheesecake Day, so I think we're all required to search out some pumpkin cheesecake. World Pasta Day and National Candy Corn Day is the day before Halloween. I think we could probably all work that one out. That sounds pretty easy. And these stickers I purchased from uh, Michael's. They're Darice Packs. D-A-R-I-C-E, and they're a dollar each. One of them was a fall theme, and one of them was a Halloween theme. Okay, so let me show you what the weekly view looks like in this compact planner. It's pretty tiny, the writing, and normally I would cover up these times and use um, home, personal, business, that kind of thing in the sections. But I decided, you know what, it's got the times in there, and I really need to work on scheduling. So I'm going to give it my best shot. So I put in, you know, about the time I eat breakfast and get myself together for the day. And that in the morning is when I can check and return messages. Get that out of the way. And then I, some work hours from 9 to noon and again from 1 to 3. And then my time to do my zone cleaning, which Monday's kitchen, Tuesday's living room, Wednesday's master bedroom, Thursday's master bath, and Friday is the office. And let's hope I get this done. <laughs> we'll see. If not, Saturday is my catch-up day. So, and then um, I've got my free time in the evening, and I definitely want to make sure that I get my reading in in the evening. I've been really slacking on reading, and I like to read something a little bit every day. I think it's important. Okay, so my personal to-do list. I need to steam mop the floors. Besides all this other cleaning, I need to get all the floors done. Um, I need to purchase some special foods. The dietitian gave me a menu when I went to see her the last time, so I want to get some of the items on that and, and get going on that. Grocery shopping needs to be done. I need to film three videos. I really want to focus on Cricut and Cricut cartridges, so I'm going to try to do that. And share daily on social media. I'm not very good at that at all. Sunday is my planning day. Otherwise, it's a pretty free day. I like to keep it that way. Here is my quote for this week. Joy is not in things, it is in us. And that's by Benjamin Franklin. Really like that quote. And she's always got a little thing. Hit the ground running by planning out your day the night before. Prioritize and allot time for each task by blocking out time in your weekly agenda and challenge yourself to stick to your schedule. That is definitely what I'm doing is challenging myself. So you can see this is kind of an overview. The month is a big overview. And then this is my weekly overview of when I want to do things and what I want to do. It's not what I've done or what I accomplished. It's what my plans are. And then I have my Fodori. And I have for today, these are specific plans. Film plan or video and upload for 6 p.m. Doing that right now. What I need to clean in the kitchen. Comment and post on the book club and make sure that I say what the new book is. And make sure I'm reading. <laughs> There's no sense of being in a book club if you're not reading. And then a few things I need to buy when I go to the store, which I'm going to have to take a break from this afternoon and do that. I was gone for the weekend, came home, and there's just a few things we're out of. So um, this is dinner plans. And this is the weather for today. High of 84, low of 64. It is gorgeous out there. We're actually starting to feel a little bit like fall here in Texas, so I'm so excited about that. And it's sunny today, just a gorgeous day. So you can see that this is more specific, what I want to do, and I check it off as I do it. So this is what actually gets done. And I'll be able to see what actually got done, what we're having for dinner, what the weather is, 
that kind of thing. And I may doodle in here a little bit. And I've got my next few days planned out specifically like that also. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing inside my planners. Um, I'll let you know next week how this scheduling type thing went. And if I was able to make myself stick to it, I'm going to try really hard. But I really appreciate you for watching this video. Thanks so much and happy planning everybody.